Welcome to Business Notes. I'm your host, Diane Bogino. We're down in Pensacola, Florida, and happened to run into Paul Martinelli. Paul, tell us about your business. I know you're a speaker and a coach, but what else do you do? Well, thank you so much, and welcome all of you. I am a speaker and a coach. One of the other things that I do is I work with other prominent speakers and help them develop business models that allow them to take their message out and have more of an impact and influence in their marketplaces. I have uh, have been blessed to be able to work with some of the greatest speakers of all time, Brian Tracy, Les Brown, business partners with John Maxwell. So as, as you can imagine, as a speaker up and coming, to be able to have that influence and that mentoring in your life is just really been significant for me. And what do you think is, uh, describe your, your typical or your best client, where do you have your most success with clients? I think where I have uh, my most success is with people who have a very clear vision about what it is that they want to create, however find themselves stuck knowing the direction that they want to go and maybe it's just one or two critical decisions away from me from being able to have that breakthrough and what I'm able to do is to come in and maybe help them through a different logical conclusion taking uh, maybe a different perspective of what they're seeing. My friend Les Brown says it's really hard to see the picture when you're in the frame. So one of the things, I've, I've built three multi-million dollar businesses. Uh, I travel all over the world. This past year I was in China and Belgium and South Africa and all over the, Europe and the UK. So I do have an understanding of some trends that are going on in the world, some of the some, some global thinking that I can bring in to help an initiative uh, that might be stuck get jump-started. And Paul, I know that you came from humble beginnings, as most of us did. I'd like for you to tell our viewers a little bit about your past, uh, from the high school stuttering to your cleaning business and on up. Sure. You know, I think my story is probably similar to everybody, as you mentioned. You know, on the playground of life, kids can be cruel. Uh, Any difference uh, that that we have, uh, kids can kind of prey on that and tease. I grew up with a stuttering problem. So I was teased relentlessly. I was told that I was a d -d dummy and hey, st -st stupid. And as I've, as I've studied now and I've grown, I've come to realize that our beliefs are created two ways. They're created through space repetition over time, hearing a message again and again and again. That's really the power of affirmations, isn't it? That we, we say positive things, but it works both ways. So through space repetition at time or through an emotional sudden impact. So for me, I had both. I was told that I was dumb and stupid and I began to believe that. It had a big emotional impact and that became my belief system. And because most people didn't expect much from me, I didn't expect much from myself. And I I always say I kind of rose to those lowered expectations. I ended up failing out of high school. I'd like to say that I dropped out, but that would imply that I had some something to do with the decision. It really didn't work that way. They called me in and said, Paul, you know, your educational career has come to an abrupt end. Uh, from there, uh, I took uh, $200 in a dream. Uh, took a bottle of Windex, a bottle of Pledge, a vacuum cleaner, and I started a commercial cleaning company. And I was stuck. I had a very clear vision of where I wanted to go, but I was stuck. So I found myself starting to read books. I say I read everything from A to Z, from Anthony Robbins to Zig Ziglar. But I couldn't get any of that information to stick. It seemed like most of it was was really motivational. I didn't need to be moving in the same path with a smile on my face. I needed a directional change. And I fell upon the beginning work of Maxwell Maltz psycho-cybernetics and started to study some of the greats uh, uh, as a man thinking with the James Allen and uh, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich and I began to really alter my beliefs and something magical happened I didn't increase my marketing I didn't wasn't that I was making more brilliant decisions it's that my perception of who I was and what my potential was changed I literally altered my belief and that business exploded. It, it became a multi-million dollar business. I was awarded Entrepreneur of the Year Award from uh, Rich DeVos, founder of Amway, which was really cool to get. And, um, and, and, and I realized that my true genius was in building my people, was in building the dreams of my employees, that I built my company by building them. And um, from there, when I, I owned that business for about 18 years, and then in 2005, I decided that I really wanted to make a bigger impact in the world. I sold that business and I started to travel the world. I've trained over 4,000 coaches and speakers. Uh, I've traveled all over the world speaking. And it's just been, it's, it's, it's been a blessing in my life to be able to really do what I love to do. 
uh, get paid very well to do it. If if you're thinking of speaking uh, or, or, or 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 writing or or training, it, it, it's a great field. People people are looking to unleash their potential, and if you can be an agent for change, it's 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 a great way. And you were also a crime fighter at one time. That's right. Uh, in, in, in those years when I was in ninth grade till I was 18 years old, I was second in command of the Guardian Angels out of New York City with Curtis Slewa. And it was there really where I gained confidence that broke the stuttering pattern for me. And I learned a lot about leadership. I learned about, uh, as my friend and business partner John Maxwell teaches, 360 degrees of leadership, starting with myself and being able to not only lead up but lead around me and lead down. And um, you know, John says, you know, if you're the leader, you're front of the pack, going up a hill, and you get to the top and your team's not there, you're not leading, you're hiking. And uh, uh, so I, I've, I've learned those, and I bring that into the work that I do. And uh, I'm going to tease everybody a little bit. You're thinking about coming to Atlanta and doing something. You bet I am. I, Atlanta is one of my favorite cities. I started the Guardian Angels in Atlanta back in, I think it was 1986. So um, uh, John, John's World Headquarters is in Atlanta. So I absolutely love uh, Atlanta. I have a two-day workshop that I do called Turning Point where we guide people through the process of a turning point in our lives. I think most of us at times will look back at pivotal, pivotal times in our lives that were either tough conditions and circumstances and we look back and we say what was once we thought was the worst thing that could have happened in our life ended up being the, the exact thing that allowed us to become aware of resources that we never knew before. Or there's times in our life where the condition cir circumstances are really good and we look back in our life and we say I never knew how good this was going to be. And th those times we call turning points. And most of us find ourselves up against the wall, our back right up against the wall. And that's when we kind of catch our balance and move forward into a turning point. We don't have to let conditions and circumstances dictate that. We can actually take the content of our life and allow that to be curriculum for our evolution. And how can people get in touch with well, you? Well, uh, they can either just visit my website at paul at paulmartinelli.net or send me an email directly to paul at paulmartinelli.net. Very good. Thank you so much thank for you. taking time out of your schedule to be with us. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. And this is Diane Bogino saying so long until next time. We're bringing you business ideas you can bank on.